So Australia kick off, planning to prevent the whole nation's whitewash. They lost in Edinburgh and London and against Wales, looking to nick a win against one of the three Southern Hemisphere superpowers. And they've got a penalty advantage as well. Ikatau standing wide, and it's through for the try for Australia. And it's scored by Andrew Kellaway, his ninth try of this calendar year. And the Welsh defence could do nothing. They... Liam Williams was nowhere to be seen, so he dinks the little ball through. And of course, it's going to be Andrew Kellaway, shortlisted as World Rugby's sort of standout player, newcomer. He's also up against Luby Samet, mind the Welsh wing. Connor played his first match in the 10 shirt in a capped international in this stadium away back in 2011. He was five from five last week against England. Well, a lot of penalties, averaging 16 a game, conceded 18 penalties at Twickenham last week. And that's well taken in by Andrew Kellaway, who played at fullback against the Scots. 84% for Dan Bigger. Normally, extremely reliable just like that oh, onto the ball really strong ball carrier of the Auckland born player and that's Valentini of the exploding hair with an exploding tackle into Adam Beard there and I think that might be worth a, a second viewing I don't think Adam Beard has come out of that terribly well he's clearly injured on impact okay we're on the and when you go through the framework like that it is pretty clear and obvious and high force and i'm saying that's a high degree of danger and there's no mitigation that that? No, no, no and that is a massive blow for australia it's a fair challenge we're about to find out no well head on head david pocock playing in the starting side Yeah, it just goes to show the testament of Michael Hooper, doesn't it? Fantastic player. Quite a few tries for his club this season, Latu. Here's Pete Samu. And that's a really great pass into midfield to James Slipper. And off goes the Tongan Thor again. And bringing the war to Wales there. And Kellaway pumping a hand off. Samu nearly gets there for Australia. Starting at 10. A pretty pathetic back. He's played all over the field for club and country, Toulon and Sale and London Irish and down in Australia too. Try opportunities for Australia in that match. And they have one today already, but they've also got a red card beside or above their title on that mini scoreboard on your screen. Halaholo. Here's Liam Williams getting in off that right foot and Nicky Tai brings him down. Down Biggers in the low, brilliant! That's fabulous! Here's Ellis Jenkins, he's opened up a chasm in this man down Australian defence, and they'll really try to slow this ball down here. They have to, <laughs> or Wales would be swamping through potentially. Nick, Nick Tompkins can break down defences. And it's Ryan Elias steering. Thomas Williams. Halaholo in midfield, Dan Bigger again just holds that ball, brings Josh Adams in off the wing. Looking to clear quickly, which they do. And now it's Nick Tompkins going to get outside and get the ball away to Reece Samet. He's got to stay away there. Reece Samet, you can't flap your arms about because you haven't got the ball because play goes on to the whistle. Tompkins beat 24 defenders in the Six Nations last year. Yeah, knock on by oh, Courtney Bill. Now, would you describe that as deliberate? Well, I've seen the referee look back at incidents like this. I mean, there was definitely a bit of fingertip action going on there. And there you go. He is going to look at it. He's just seen the slow-mo on the replay. It's in a non-natural position. It is a, it's a deliberate knock on. And he's a, you're the last defender, so it's the other one. And the officials have been very, very busy here in the first quarter. Taken by Carter, who's on for Adam Beard. Thomas Williams! And there's the try! And it's Ryan Elias again! Lovely little cheeky run round there from Thomas Williams, releasing Ryan Elias. And it is just so good to see him back enjoying his rugby. You flash back to 2020, the Autumn Nations Cup. Ryan Elias really came under the cough. Play going on, down bigger with the most 
beautiful sumptuous strike at the rugby ball. Paul around his hips. And Nick White puts it high. And it's Josh Adams who's underneath this with Kellaway. And there was a clash without the ball in midair there. Nick White picks it up for Australia. Hand comes in from Ellis Jenkins. Flaps it down. Off goes the Tongan Thor again. Tolu. Oh, and he's given the ball away to Rizam. It back they come again for the penalty. It's, it's just a, 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 a journal of bad news for James Slipper in this first half. <laughs> From Mike yeah, Adamson, he's, he's clearly overrun it. Yeah. He's going, going to give the penalty half here half to, half to, half to half Wales half. for uh, Andrew Kellaway overrunning the ball. Let's go nine. Thomas Williams, that Welsh scrum again, is under pressure, got to get the ball out quickly. Here is Dan Bigger, now it's Halaholo. He gets through the defence. Great work by Halaholo. Thomas Williams. Dan Bigger, plenty of Welsh numbers out there. Ellis Jenkins steps inside the attempt to tackle of Tolu Ladu. There's an offside here. And then the inside ball, and Wainwright fumbles it. There may well have been a gap in front of him to go through, but he was never going to find out because he didn't have the ball in his hands, did he? Today, should he deliver? 95th cap for Wales today, Dan Bigger. Use it. Slipper is working really, really hard to skip it in there at the breakdown. But away come Wales inside their 22 through Tompkins. Now Liam Williams puts it through for Josh Adams. Needs the bounce. Gets the race. Pulled back. Pulled back very clearly there by Liam Hickey Booze all round the stadium. But what might it have led to well, these two sides now? It's all getting very rumbustious out there. Tempers are definitely rising. That's a really cynical play by Tom Wright. That's that's not fair in the game. He can see he's been beaten. It's a desperate grab at the shirt. That's wrong. Elias to Seb Davis. That's a better line out. Went to the front this time just to make sure it was safe and secure. One stop. Elias, Thomas Williams went on the blind side, chip into the space. Tompkins came off the head, eventually they're away here through Tom Wright, Curtly Beale. There's nobody back for Wales. Dan Bigger is the last man. He's going to be first to the ball. And he says, let me continue my chat with Michael Adamson down the tunnel if I still have the breath. Having heard back 70 metres, he's got his hands on his knees. Dan Bigger, maybe he won't have the puff to continue the argument with Michael Adamson. But it's half-time here at the Principality, and it has been an incident-packed opening 40. Seems to be that playing against Wales carries a lot of jeopardy. Rob Valentini, the fifth player to be sent off against Wales in the last 11 months. Players playing almost as individuals. Hunter Paisami made a couple of good breaks against the English, though. And there's a knock on there, and it went backwards! Went backwards just by Adamson! So a free run to the line for Nick Tompkins. See, look at him. Back, yeah. back! <laughs> I'm in, I'm in! You can't stop me! Is Try it, catching me! <laughs> Good, clear communication to the referee there. There's two rounds coming off the bench, they're making his impact. There we go, Tame Basham, pointless clear out there by Gareth Thomas. He's not even securing over the ball. Yellow card, Philippa? Yeah, right, right decision. A tough lesson for the young guy to learn, but absolutely unnecessary. James O'Connor, here is Curtly Bill, dangerous man, and he gets away, and Curtly Bill is away! And here's the chance now for Australia, and it's Nick White, he must get there! On to the ball, he's running as fast as he possibly could, but the pass just makes him run that little bit faster, which just okay. allows him to beat the defenders coming through. Floor then to dive over. Well, that was the curtly beat of old, the classic curtly bill. Well, they did finish that match explosively. Could do something similar here as Carter takes that ball and it's bigger, flatter on the line. Here's Tompkins. This is what he's so good at. 
He beat five defenders against Fiji. He's beating defenders again here tonight against Australia. Yeah, there was an earlier collision where both... Oh, yeah, off the ball, yeah. Dan Bigger and Josh Adams took a while to get back up from that one. Well, that is Hunter Taisami. Dan Bigger turns away, hobbles away, gets the three points, though. Snaps his body weight into this. Oh, is the gap through midfield again? Oh, they're thrown away. What a break by Hunter Paisami. What a tackle by McNichol. Here's McDermott. Six points, the difference. Converted try is going to put Australia into the lead here. They must score. They must score. They do score. Paisami, he's just been everywhere, hasn't he? He's got the better of the Welsh senders on a number of occasions. Quality of passing. You can see now Gareth Davis just coming in, doing all he can to try and bosh the Australian winger out into touch. Are they going to check now? Foot in. Just check. Oh, it's, he's fine. He's well in. In the stadium where he played his first capped international as an out half. Oh, what a oh, kick it almost was for James O'Connor. Here's a win right now. Oh, they open the ball here, Australia. They think they are. They know they are. They've got the penalty. And it's Will Skelton using his size 18 hands on that occasion. Can Bill nail the strike of the accuracy? Yes, he can. The old man delivers for the Wallabies. Gareth Davis now, Gareth Davis away, he's done it to Australia before, Gareth Davis, Liam Williams won a tackle by Fienga, and Wales come again and waves. Oh! Is this their big moment? Ten seconds to go, Ben Corner throws himself forwards towards the line, Chinza goes, Chris Chinza to Wales. Dylan Lewis now, he can't get that advantage offside, so the discipline has let them down. So they've got a free play to get the match winning try here, Wales. Chinza, can he get to that white wash? Mike Adamson says held up, but it's a penalty advantage. Well, it's been a kick off at the end between the old lags. Currently bail for Australia now. Reese Priestley, right smile from Wayne Tabak, 34 years of age, winner of the Slam in 2012 with Wales. So Bail showed the value of experience a few moments ago. Can Reese Priestland? Oh, yes, he can! Christmas of strikes from Reese Priestland. He looked pretty cool in there. And sure he wasn't feeling so ice cold inside. <laughs>